So hello and welcome everyone. Today we are diving into the exciting world of multi-cluster management using CubeSphere. So in this course, we'll cover a lot of things like uh, course overview, objectives, then uh, about CubeSphere, then installing on Google platform, then Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, CubeSphere capabilities, multi-cluster management. Uh, so now in this lecture, we'll talk about multi-cluster management. So let's start our lecture. So uh, our VM is already running and you can see that we have uh, logging into uh, uh, our CubeSphere UI. Okay, so like uh, uh, in this lecture, basically we're talking about uh, uh, multi-cluster management. So as the organization increasingly adopt Kubernetes for their application, managing multiple clusters effectively become essential. CubeSphere offers a centralized platform that enhances offers uh, basically operational efficiency scalability and governance across various environment so let's explore how to enable multi-clustering management in kubespare import hosted clusters and manage member clusters seamlessly okay so enabling multi-cluster management is first uh, in kubespare first let's discuss how to enable multi-cluster management in kubespare so accessing kubespare so we have already accessing kubespare uh via ip okay we have uh deploy uh, we have installed kubespare on our uh multi-cloud vms like aws azure and gcp so right now i am uh like uh, uh deploy my uh, and, uh, I am deploy kubesphere on uh, Google Cloud platform. Okay, so you can uh, choose according to your choice, like whichever suits you, like AWS, GCP, as well. We have all the three options. So, uh, like uh, accessing kubesphere, we have already accessing kubesphere, and uh, then uh, activating to the future, navigate to the multi cluster management settings. Here, you'll find an option enabled to multi cluster. Once activated, this feature allows you to control, monitor, and govern multiple Kubernetes cluster from a single console. User interface. The user interface is designed to give a holistic view of your all of your cluster. You can switch between clusters easily and manage them without needing to log in uh, log into each one individually. This streamlined process significantly boosts operational efficiency. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, here you can see the cluster settings. Okay, if you click on basic information, so default cluster uh, default uh, is cluster one node is running four core CPU view. This is the memory and this is the disk. Okay, so if you go on cluster members, so here you can see the admin only. And if you want to invite any uh, member or any anyone, so simply you can give a use a here add username, and uh, then you can directly invite uh, uh, like invite from here. Okay, then your uh, like uh, cluster. Then uh, if you see the cluster roles. In cluster role, there are two or three things. Basically, if you check the cluster admin, okay, so I'm on admin panel. Uh, if you see the storage, uh, like the permission for the admin is storage, access control, project resources, then uh, network cluster settings, monitoring, alerting, authorized users. There is there is no authorized user. If you want to add author uh, like users here, so same here you can uh, add with cluster members. Okay, you can invite members from here then uh, next uh, if you want to like uh, cluster check the cluster role so here you can see the cluster admin okay so these are the, some permissions for cluster admin if you see the cluster viewer okay so uh, like these are the permissions for cluster viewer also then uh, but uh, i'm not adding any user right now if you want to add user so same you can go here on cluster members and invite uh, invite via this link invite via this option or button okay so uh, this is like how you can uh, manage uh, uh, multiple clusters and multiple users here. You can invite users, then give access, like what are the things you give access to the users. Basically, you are an ad, like I am an admin view. Okay. And uh, if you go on gateway cluster, cluster gateway. So in, if you want to enable cluster gateway, so you can enable from here, load balance and node port options are also there. Project gateways, no project gateway is found here. Okay, so basically this is the uh, information about the multi-cluster. So uh, you can like uh, uh, add uh, like uh, once you uh, once you enter the necessary information, Kubesphere will attempt to connect the specific specified cluster. If successful, you will see the new cluster list in the multi-cluster dashboard. 
okay uh, if you check the basic information and here you can see the default cluster and here you can see the default cluster are there because one cluster is right uh, running right now okay by importing uh, like uh, kubespril attempt to uh, once you enter the necessary information kubespril attempt to connect the specified cluster if successful you will see the new cluster here okay and uh, uh, in your multi cluster dashboard this allows you to monitor and manage it alongside your other clusters also so removing a um, member cluster now let's discuss how to remove a member cluster from a multi cluster management so uh, basically like uh, once the cluster is removed all the related resources will clean up from the kubesphere interface however we show to verify it that any resource in the cluster have been backed or mig mi uh, migrated necessary so kubesphere will usually prompt you for confirmation to ensure you want to proceed this is a critical step prevent accidental removals so that's all about this lecture like cubes for multi cluster management capabilities allow organization to efficiently manage multiple kubernetes cluster from a single platform so thank you for attention i hope this lecture has provided you valuable insight into managing multiple cluster with kubesphere if you have any doubt feel free to ask on udemy and that's all about this lecture